Hi everyone! I'm Junk Jody. I'm an artist and I make things from recycled materials, aka junk. <laughs> Making things from recycled materials is mega fun, it's cheap and cheerful to do, and great for our planet too. So with lots of time on your hands, let's get started. <laughs> Today, we are going to make something from the 30 day Art DT challenge. Let's see what my junk bag has picked. Ah, a boat that can float in water. For this task, you are going to need A large bottle or a small bottle, newspaper, scrap card or paper, glue, a ruler, brown paint, blue paint, scissors, a black pen, a red pen, a pencil, a paintbrush and some sellotape. For this exercise we will be using scissors a lot, so if you haven't used scissors before or you find scissors difficult to use, then it's really important you ask your parent guardian to help you, as scissors can be sharp and it's essential you stay safe. Also remember, this exercise is all about having fun, so it doesn't have to be perfect. First, we'll need to take our bottle and measure seven centimeters from the bottom. We will then do the same halfway round. We will then take our scissors to cut round our markings to cut a straight circle round. Aside, and with our leftover bottle, we'll measure four centimeters from the bottom. We'll also do the same halfway round. This time we'll cut up towards our marking, and then same as before, we'll cut right round, meeting our other marking to make a straight circle round. Now we're going to cut down right through the middle of this strip. We're then going to turn these two strips into four strips. We'll fold them in half and cut down the middle. Now you've got four strips, you'll need to take two of them, fold them in half, pinch the middle to make a sharp point. So you'll have two rounded and two pointed. We're now going to need eight pieces of sellotape. We're then going to take our corner strips, attach a piece of sellotape to either side of them and then stick it to our base. of our boat. We're going to do the same directly opposite. So there we have it. We have a front and a back. Nice points either side. Now taking our round strips we're going to sellotape these underneath our points but a little bit further in. your boat. Now we're going to take our newspaper and we're going to rip lots of little pieces up. How many pieces can you rip up in a minute?
Now we're going to take our glue stick and stick these pieces of newspaper all around our boat. But we will not put any newspaper at the bottom. <laughs> our boat in newspaper and now it's time to do my favourite bit, paint. We're now going to cover all the newspaper in brown paint. While we're letting that dry, we'll turn the boat over and we'll paint the base blue. Once we have painted the base blue, creating the sea and the side of the boat brown, we will leave it to dry and then we'll do a second coat. Once you've done your second coat, it's time to start our flag. For this, you will need your ruler, your scrap piece of card or paper, black pen and your pencil. First of all, we'll need to measure the width of our boat and add two centimetres to it. To start our flag, we're going to make a rectangle. With the width of my boat being nine and a half centimetres, I've added two centimetres to make 11 and a half centimetres. So my rectangle will be the width of 11 and a half centimetres and we'll need to make the height 13 centimetres. We're now going to cut our rectangle out. Now we've finished cutting out our rectangle, we're going to add a one centimetre thick border all around the edge and then we'll draw our skeleton and bones in the middle. our skeleton and bones in the middle of our rectangle. We'll first draw an open rectangle, just like that, and we'll draw three quarters of a circle roughly on top. We'll then draw two circles, a triangle, and three lines. We'll then draw two lines at the top left and then two at the top right, slightly longer ones at the bottom right and slightly longer ones at the bottom left. We'll then add half a heart to each of our lines. and we'll add our favourite number. Now we're going to outline it in black. Now we'll need to take our straw, add a piece of sellotape and attach it to the back of our flag. Once you have done that, we need to take our boat, we need to find the middle and cut a one centimetre slit down either side. Then we'll take our flag and we'll slot it down the slits. Just like that. And there we have 
our boat. We just need to now add our dinghy. Now for my dinghy, I'm going to use this sellotape as a template. If you don't have this type of sellotape, then you can use something that's similar or just improvise and estimate. on our dinghy and stick it on and there we have it everyone you can get super creative and decorate your flags in many ways you can make more than one and race them in a bath boats are designed to float in water whether it be in seas, lakes or rivers. Sailboats are propelled by sails and wind and motorboats are propelled by engines. And did you know what the ocean said to the pirate? Nothing, he just waved. Do you get it? <laughs> On that note, let's go and see if our hard work has paid off. it our boat that can float in water if you've had fun making with me today then please subscribe to my youtube channel and spread the word to others as next on jump jody we'll be drawing and making butterflies using exotic colors till next time everyone stay safe and keep making art bye now